Good morning and happy Sunday mornings with Mel. It is the first Sunday of Lent. I am here in Mill Hollow in, it's also called Bacon Woods. Again, a place just a few miles from my home, a place I have never been in the winter. But because of you, I try to go to different places of interest. People have posted pictures from down here that I see on my Facebook. And so I thought, I'll come down here and do a Sunday mornings with Mel. It is absolutely beautiful though. It's only 23 and yet it feels so much warmer. I'm not gonna say it feels like summer. Pretty soon we'll be, I talked to my brother last night, he'll be tapping the maple syrup trees. And so that's gonna be coming up in the next few weeks. But the next 40 days as we prepare for Lent, as we prepare for Easter and the resurrection, I just wanted to bring you to some place just absolutely beautiful, part of God's creation. Um, my words are, it's a little windy down here, um, but I'm going to just sing a few songs. And the first one is <clears throat> talking about God's creation and what a beautiful place to be to celebrate God's beauty. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. O oh, my soul, praise him, for he is thy health and salvation. Come all who hear, now to his temple draw near. Join me in glad adoration. You know, it is sort of like a cathedral down here. The trees that I'm facing out into the park, the shale, the slate behind me with those icicles is just beautiful. And all of this that we're going through, I just pray that you take some time to get outside. All of those things to stay at home are all good, but if you can get out to be by yourself all alone, this is the place to be. Um, this week I'm gonna um, be talking about Noah's Ark. Um, I'm thinking, what did that have to do with Lent? Um, but then I started doing a lot of studying, and that's one thing about being a pastor now. If you're going to teach and preach, you better be a student. So I spend more time reading, researching than I ever have, I think, in my life, even for school. Sorry, any of my teachers that may be listening. But 40 days, 40 days just appears so many times in the Bible the number 40, the Moses led the people of Israel through the wilderness for 40 years. Noah, it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. And Jesus was on the Mount of Temptation for 40 days, all alone. I'm a Noah's Ark freak. Anybody that's been to my house knows I have a Noah's Ark Christmas tree. I have a Noah's Ark room. There's a Noah's Ark in every room in my house. And I found 11 things that we can learn from Noah. And the first one is don't miss the boat. We all have so many opportunities and we hesitate and we procrastinate. And sometimes we miss the boat. And in Noah's case, you didn't want to miss the boat. One thing with COVID, everything that's going on, we need to remember that we're all in the same boat. We may be on the stern, we may be on the opposite side, we may be in the front of the back, but we are all in this together. We do need to plan ahead, whatever it is in life. Noah started building that ark a hundred years before the rain came. Can you imagine a hundred years working on one project? Not the ideal um, scenario for a project manager. Stay fit. When you're 60 years old, someone may ask you to do something really big. So regardless of your age, there's always something, a job that you can do. 
Don't listen to critics. Just get on with the job that needs to be done. Can you imagine the criticism that Noah had to put up with from everybody around him? What's a 500-year-old man do, doing building something like this? The, no, the ark was built not near water. It was built on higher ground, and we need to build whatever we're building not on quicksand, as I've discussed before, but on higher ground. There's always safety in numbers, so always travel in pairs. Speed isn't always an advantage. The snails were on the same boat as the cheetahs were. When you're stressed, try to float a while. Just relax. Remember that the ark was built by amateurs, not experts like the Titanic was. So wherever you are in life, I just say, take a few lessons from Noah and you'll be glad that you took his advice. I'm going to sing one more song and I don't know what I want to sing, but I feel like I want to sing um, everything's beautiful in its own way. You may not like the hot, you may not like the cold, but there's someone out there who is loving this day, and I hope that that's you. No matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, if you're looking for a place to not be alone, to travel in pairs, you're always welcome at St. John's United Church of Christ, 204 Leonard Street, where we'll be meeting tomorrow. Everyone wears masks at 10 o'clock. Again, 204 Leonard Street, all are welcome. Come as you are. God bless you and have a good week.